Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler and today we're going to be solving a problem that that I had six years ago and uh, finally found a solution to it. Um, I need to thank my uh, one of my viewers here. Uh, let me get to the right thing. So I had this conversation on the Fabric community, filled regions and points on map. Um, anyway, he was asking about it. So I actually found this thing. Uh, this thread, uh, which is this guy. So basically, and I don't remember how I created this image. I think I just literally like searched for an image and found it and downloaded it on a, you know, and pasted it. I said, I want a map that looks like this, right? Um, and the answer comes back is, wouldn't you know, and this again, this was like eight years ago or six years ago. And uh, I can't match, you can generate a custom map. Uh, it's, I sort of figured it was going to be the answer, but uh, you know, I, and and I got down here and and there was a lot, like people were like, "Hey, man, I really want to know how you created that map." I downloaded it, people. <laughs> it, was, it, I mean, it was not a thing in Power BI, um, but but and it looked like a lot of people were like, "Yeah, I want it too." Um, and I just replied that you know, I you know basically copied that image and it wasn't a real thing. Well, it's now a real thing, sort of, kind of. It's a uh, well, let me just show it to you. So let's, there you have it, right? So there is a filled map, and it has points on it as well. So, so how do you how do you do it, right? We're going to build it from scratch. I'm going to build this thing from scratch and show you guys how to do it. If I can replicate this thing uh, like I did before, we're going to find out. <clears throat> but it, it is possible. Um, I don't know why it's this difficult to do. Um, I don't know why a single map visual can't pull this off, but trust me, I've I tried them all, man. I tried bubble map and filled map and shape map and you know icon map and a couple other third party maps and <clears throat> could never get it to work because they all seem to have this hang up where it's either going to be a, it either needs to be a filled map or it needs to be a bubble map. You know, you can either display points or you can fill stuff in. Um, and even in this case, it uh it's the exact same thing we're using the Azure map has the same hang up, right? But the Azure map has one important feature that the others do not. Um, and I discovered it kind of <clears throat> just by playing around and by accident. OK, let's <laughs> enough suspense. All right, so the data model in this thing is super simple, right? I've got Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. I've got some you know, BS points that I made up, you know, values. And then I've got a category. It's either Ohio or it's not Ohio, because that's the entire world is either Ohio or not Ohio, right? So let's get this done. We, and I've got my state as a location, right? I'm in my visual. I highly recommend that you view your selection pane. You're going to want to use that to uh, keep things straight as we go through this. OK, let's get a, this. Get a blah, 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 Tom, Tom, yeah, yeah. Put our state in here, and we're going to put our filled value in here. And I think I want that tool tips. Oh, now I'm going to have to remember how in the world that I got this to be a fill. No, it's a filled map. So you can't enable. So there's filled map. It does let you have bubble maps, so, but it's just the same bubbles, right? So it's like, OK, that's kind of useless. So unless maybe I can do this. Nope, see, my filled map goes away. See, so this is the problem, right? So I can go back to here, turn the bubble layer off, have the filled map layer on, right? And then um, the whole trick to this, right, is a couple things. So one, I need to get my map settings, my view controls, turn off auto zoom. It's going to cause us nothing but headaches. Right, and then I need to center my map at Ohio is like Columbus, Ohio is like 39 minus 83. Okay, so now it's in the center of my map. I'm going to specify a zoom. Let's try six and maybe can go seven. And yeah, seven might be a little big. Stick with six. Okay, so now we've got now we've got our map. Um, we've got it zoomed in. Um, maybe if I took this and did minus 84. Nope, wrong way. 82. All right, there we go. 81, is that even better? Okay, 81, and let's try to move this 
to 38. Oh, wrong way, 40. There we go. Now we might be able to get a zoom of seven. Nope, can't, but it's at least it's centered, more centered. So you're gonna you're gonna want to turn this on, right? This auto zoom, turn that off, and you're gonna want to specify the exact latitude and longitude of the center of your map. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it. Okay, so now we've copied and pasted it, right? And this is gonna be by point, well, point, a point value. And now we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna turn the field off, the bubble on, and remove this out of here, <clears throat> put our point value down here in the size, right? Now we've got our same center and zoom and everything else, right? So the important thing that the Azure map has that none, that none of the other map map uh, map visuals seem to have, which would make so much more sense, is it has a it has a blank style, right? So it has a blank style. And once you do that, then I can go here to properties, nope, effects, and keep moving stuff around, turn off the background. And as you can see, <laughs> I have a field map and point map. Okay, but right, you want the colors in there, right, too. So we're gonna take our category. Oh, so our category, so we have to be in the right one. We want our field map to have the category and put that in the legend. Now you can see stuff, it, it shifts things around, right? So, um, Let's go back to here. So it's shifted these a little bit because it's got the legend. That's the other thing we're going to have to fix, right? We're going to do our point. We only need a title on one of these. So let's turn the title off. So let's go to our other one. Go back to our title. So field value and points. By state and category, gray. Uh, and then the last thing, let's see here. So these are, yep, if we click off of this, right? It's still there. So then if we want different colors for our bubble layer, we can come down here to colors, show all, and we can change Indiana to be like orange, and Ohio will make this ugly fuchsia. And then Pennsylvania, we can make that right there. So, and if you know if you don't like where this bubble map is, so this is our bubble map. Um, what you can do to account for like, you know, this legend kind of shifts things a little bit. What I found is that you can do is go to your map settings, go to your control, and you can shift this uh, centered latitude like 41. No, that's a little too far. 40.5. You just have to shift it around a little bit, right? To to account for that legend being up there. And uh, yeah, there you go. So not perfect by any means, but uh, doable, I guess you could say. I was not planning on making a video today, or in particular, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I came up with a solution for this, and I was like, oh, oh I need to show some people this. I, I don't know if I'm the first one to come up with this or not. It doesn't really matter, because um, every time I searched for it and Googled around for it and binged around for it, I couldn't find an answer to this, this, this problem at all. So I don't know. That's all I really had for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.